What's up guys? So today I'm going to be doing a cute a short little vlog on my baby gerbils and maybe just talk about a little few more other things if I have time. And yeah, so let's get right into this, show you the cute little ones and tell you some things about them, how you should raise them, kind of conditions you should have the cave cage in and things like that. So yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so here is three of them. Hi baby. Hi. So this one is going to, this is a little gray and white one. Come here. And his name is Finnegan. Because he's going to be so, um, we, um, one of these, um, some friends of mine have male gerbils, so they're going to take him. So this one's a boy, and these two are girls, and this is a litter of four. So, and then this one right here. Hmm, hi, baby. So, yeah, they're really cute, and, yeah, so we have this one that has a, oh, come here, has like a white, oh, come here. Gosh. So the mommy is right here. Right here. Hi, baby. And her name is Beth. She is my newest gerbil. She is my sort of replacement for Roxy after she passed away uh, in November. So she, um, we bought her, I believe, December 1st. And, hi, little one. And so she's been kind of staying with Maya, and I'll show you guys Maya after I show you the baby gerbils. Um, and she gave birth to these four little ones on Christmas Eve. So we woke up and we heard squeaking and so we went and checked on her and there were baby gerbils. Hi! Beth is very close with her little ones. So yeah, we have this gray and white one. We have this one that I'm going to probably keep with Beth and Maya. Come here. You can kind of see the pattern here is like a, is, has a little more white than the others. And then we have an old orange one that looks like the mama. Kind of like looks like Beth over there. Come here. And we call her, we have a little nickname for her. We call her Missy because she is really fast. And once she starts moving, she's like a missile. So we call her Missy. And yeah, so we have Finnegan. We have that one. And then we have this other one that has just, come here. She's very squirmy. Come here, please. Oh, come here. She's got, it's kind of hard to see, but she has like a little bit of white on her head and stuff. Most of them have like a little bit of white on them, except for that one that looks like the mom that has no white on her. So, yeah, those are them. And how you should sort of have a, a cage is the sort of just a top aquarium, no wire or mesh, because then it will, because the baby's heads could get st stuck in the wire or something could happen to their tail, things like that. So, you, I would recommend an aquarium. I don't know how big, but like, just like an average size little aquarium. And for the top, um, you have like this little mesh thing here. You can kind of see. has like a little bit of wire, but they can't reach it through this high, high part. So, you have like this mesh stuff, big wiring and everything. So, yeah. And the kind of food you can have... Is just any old food. I have this kind of nutritious kind. It's got, like, you can feed them all kinds of seeds. Pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. But if you buy sunflower seeds, you have to buy them with no salt because salt is really bad for them. Sometimes can be bad for their immune system. And Timothy Hay is good, this little part here. And Cheerios, they apparently, baby gerbils really like Cheerios. Adults do too. And Beth is a fan of Cheerios, so is Maya. So, yeah. So, hey, baby. And um, we are going to be selling two, we are going to be giving two of them to this local pet store, the Pet in Place. We are going to be taking two of them, the two that I, that we can't keep, um, or the two that I don't end up picking to keep. Um, we'll go to the pet store and then Finn over here will be, um, he will be with his new family. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep this one because she's very pretty color. She's very sweet, too. Really nice. They all have little bits of white on their tail, except for, I think it's not that one. The all orange one doesn't have any white. You can kind of see right there. So, yeah. Those are my cute little litter of gerbils. Beth apparently got pregnant before we bought her. So she was just a little gerbil. And, on, and it says 24 days is as long as they have them until they give birth and sure enough on the 24th was 
when she gave birth. So at first, so we're only going to keep them for about three, maybe weeks more until they're old enough to go to new homes and or tell the two that we don't keep go to new homes. So yeah, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Yeah, they like chewing on things that they like to chew on, the mama and the baby. Like chew on little pieces of like toilet paper tubes or paper towel tubes. Little pieces of toilet paper are really good for their nest when they're little, like when they're newborns. Like here, stuff they like being with their mom. Things like that. We don't know the mo the father because must have got her pregnant at the store. So we don't know who um who the dad is. But I'm guessing it looked like Finn here or like Beth because there's a lot of orange ones. A lot of orange ones. So yeah, if I come up with a name for the one that I'm keeping, I will make a vlog on the one that I ended up keeping, telling you what happened to the gerbils, like how we're selling them, things like that. And yeah, so those are my little baby gerbils. And I loved them so much. And it's going to be sad when we have to sell two of them. So yeah, you always put this on the top. And what I'd recommend is get like just a nice little regular towel and cover like at least half of it so then the other half they get air and the other half is almost like a little box for them sort of in the way because it's dark on one side light on the other so they get a little bullet bowl so they get air light things like that where Maya is there she is that's Maya Beth was Beth used to be paired with Maya in here it's a, another aquarium but it has a ramp and then it has like this wire mesh, which is okay for adults because they're more careful about things like that. So yeah, hi Maya, what you doing? What you doing, mama? Yeah, she likes eating lots of things, stuff like that. Where, let's see. Um, sunflower, there you go, sunflower seed. Maya, Maya, what that? You want a sunflower seed? And sometimes after a while, once you bond with your gerbils a lot, they um they can take things out of your hand. Where'd she go? Like they can take things out of your hand. Like she's eating a little sunflower seed. I really love Maya. She was the sister to Roxy before she died, and they had a really strong bond, things like that. So yeah, they were really close. And she's also really close with Beth or was when um when they were in the same cage. And she seemed to be okay with the babies when they were in here for a little bit before we had to move them. So hopefully she'll be okay with whatever gerbil I pick to uh, keep with Beth and Maya. And hopefully she won't have to be alone anymore. Oh, Mama. Oh, baby. Yeah, she has like a fun little tube with little like, what, like little tubes and boxes and things like that. So yeah. So that's all this part. And yeah, good food, little bits of like Timothy hay and sticks, her little wheel to run in, her ramp. Hi mama. Hey baby. And yeah, so that's that's Maya and that's the babies and everyone else. So yeah. So that's all for today guys. Oh and I need to show you I forgot I got my other pillowcase today. And I had my other one but my mom's cleaning it so sorry. Oh and I wanted to show you this other thing I got for Christmas that I forgot to show you. So I'll show you right now. And all this stuff. There it is. It's a crossbow. It's not a real one, but it's still, it's really cool. It's just like Daryl's. His has like camo and things like that, but his is like a gray instead of a green that you can kind of see over here. And handle, little click on and off. This doesn't work, but you know, it's kind of thing. Scope, little pull back, put an arrow and shoot it. And maybe I'll do a short little vlog another time showing you how to shoot it. Me and my brother will probably do like a shooting contest thing. So here it is, guys. It's a Walking Dead Daryl pillowcase. And it has him with the, like, cool axe, things like that. And his face, crossbow kind of in the corner here. It says Walking Dead. It does have white on the back, but my other one has um, the same thing on both sides. So, yeah. Pillowcase. And my baby gerbils and Maya and things like that. So hopefully I'll be able to make another video soon on mystery bags and my plush review. Um, both of them will be coming hopefully by the end of this week or next week because it's just taking a while because it comes from China. And my one of the plushes left the California facility character so it should be coming by the end of this week if it's already in California. 
So, yeah, and then my other one left the China carrier, so it should be coming to California, so I think one of them should be coming before the other. So I have to make two separate videos unless they both come at the same time, then that would be really lucky. So, yeah. start doing soon, too, is I'm going to be doing um, some, uh, uh, like, I'll probably do a talk soon when it gets closer to February. I'll do, like, a little... Walking Dead video about, um, like, talking about things that we can hopefully expect and not expect in this new episode and things that we may have to prepare ourselves for and things that we should and shouldn't. So hopefully it's going to be a really fun episode. I'm really excited. I have heard rumors, though, that, um, well, I'm not going to tell you the rumor now. I'll wait till that video. So hopefully that rumor that I heard is not true or... Hopefully not, or we won't see that rumor for quite a while, hopefully. So, yeah, I think that's everything. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and please like and subscribe. Put another like and subscribe right here. And, um, usually I leave something, like, I forgot that I forgot to put in the video. I'll put in the description, so if there's something that I talked about that I didn't videotape, I'll probably put that in the description and talk about it. Like my mystery bag opening, I forgot to tell you guys. That, Glenn, that the Glenn dog tag that I got was actually a special season 5 dog tag, which is super cool. I don't remember the scene that it was from, but it was super cool. So, yeah. And please leave me some comments. I love reading comments, and you can recommend things that I should do in my video. I like like drawing things. Maybe if you have some think recommendations for drawings, uh, anything, any kind of Wii U games or video games that you want to see me play, um, any videos you want me to rec to, I'll probably do those soon. Don't know when, but sometime when I figure out how to have, like, me in, like, the bot and one of the boxes on the camera, and then the rest of it is the video that I'm reacting to. So if I figure that out, I'll take a video when I find a video to react to. Also, comment if you have any recommendations for that, too. So, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!